Well, it's worked for the Koreans. They've taken the bronze. Now it's time to sort out the final gold of the team day here at Yankton, South Dakota, and the 2021 Hyundai World Archery Championships. Mexico leading out, sorry, Colombia leading out India. So Colombia versus India for gold in the compound mixed team. Let's go down for the introductions. On target number two, representing Colombia, Sarah Lopez, Daniel Munoz. World archery line judge for this match is Katarina. Well, here we go. India versus Colombia. Uh, Nikki, a tough lineup. Jyoti Venom for India teams up with Abhishek Verma. Colombia line up with Sara Lopez and Daniel Munoz. Is there a favourite here? I mean, just slightly, you're just looking at the individual world rankings, Colombia are probably the favourite, but remember, India never won a world title. Can they do it now? Can they indeed? Colombia have world number three, Sara Lopez, who's had her own problems over the last couple of years. Here she is, Daniel Munoz, who can be a tough competitor and a solid rock for Lopez. Colombia to get our gold medal match underway with Sara Lopez. Well, we just wait for uh, Minos here, but Sara Lopez didn't look at all happy, and I, it always still makes me wonder when an archer shoots a 10 what they could be unhappy about. Like, if you've not shot a very good shot, but it just happened to go in the 10, that just doesn't fill you with confidence. You want to shoot a good shot, a nice feeling shot, so it gives you confidence for the next one. Yeah, I sort of get it. Abhishek Verma here starting at four yeah. India yeah. on a 10. Shoots into the nine. Now back to this bad shot from Sara Lopez in inverted commas. I get what you're saying, not filling you with confidence, but you know, like they say in a football match, a soccer match, if you're from that part of the world, if you win playing badly, you know, you kind of get away with it. And didn't Lopez, can't you feel that in archery? Oh, that was a bad shot, but I, I got away with the ten. Phew, now I've got to shoot a good shot. Like you do have to, you do have to take the, those ones because sometimes you'll shoot a really great shot and it won't be a ten. So like they even themselves out. So you do have to sort of go with the flow. I am of course playing devil's advocate. Two tens followed by two nines and a thirty-eight for Minos and Lopez. I, I know that you guys are absolute perfectionists. You want the ten and a good shot. I mean, you know, what more? What more do you need, you archers? <laughs> I think it's because it's such an objective sport, um, you know, it's such a closed sport, you know, it is really down to you, yes we've got the wind conditions going on, but so much of it is down to you as an individual, so yeah, we do tend to get too many perfectionists. Wow. Thirty-nine. Just one point, and have taken an early lead. That will settle them down. That's for sure. Yeah, it's a great start from them. And like, just going back to that perfectionism thing. Like, I think as an archer, that's a, that can be a really good thing because it can drive you forward, make you want to be better, want more from it, but there's an edge to it as well. There's a point at which it becomes destructive and unhelpful. Um, so it's a really careful balance between, so I like to think of it as excellence because like you're trying to do the best you can do, but like perfectionism is unattainable. There's not a single archer who shoots a 10 every single time. And if you did, do you know what? It'd be really boring. And yeah, you go around and win everything for a couple of years and you go, oh, What's the point of shoot a 10 every time? So, you know, we have to have, you know, 
these nines and things to mix it up and you know make you want it even more. Yeah, you know, as yeah, as as nicely and politely as you said that, there's a very, a very deep point to that as well because you could become very obsessive in this mm -hmm. sport because mm -hmm. of what it demands from you and you know it's good that we've seen today so far so many archers just saying accepting hey the wind just threw me around there there was nothing i could do about it so i get your point very crucial and that's, that's why coaches are so important in a sport that on the face of things seems very very simple well columbia arguably the favorites for this gold medal trail india Lopez gets a number two underway with the wind behind her by the looks of things. It doesn't look very nice out there, does it? Very gusty now. She's talking her teammate through this. Did really well with that. Just looked like a little jolt to, to, to his right. And he managed to then correct it. it. I mean, it, I made it look massive when I did it. Of course, you can't see me doing that to Nicky at home. But just look at the movement of the stabilizer. That's probably the easiest thing. I think pointing out the front of the bow to see how much they're moving around. You know, as long as that whole unit kind of moves together, you know, think of that arrow in parallel and facing the target. If you move with a bit of flow, it's okay. If you're trying to hold tense and have tension, often one bit will move, the other won't, and then they come out of alignment, and that's where it goes wrong. Eight points. Uh, that's the door open for Colombia. <laughs> He has 77 points on the board. Well, can be matched here. Mishak Verma, 32 year old, along with teammate JT Venom, need two tens. Marked as an eight for a measure. That's uh, too close to call. I'm going to call it in. We'll have to wait for the measure. There's a nine, nine. so there's three points. Definitely nine, so. Well, is it going to be a three or a two point lead for Colombia, who trailed after the first end? Look, you can see the trees moving around. The conditions have got ever so slightly trickier here. It is really difficult. You know, they're just <laughs> having a good giggle between them, which is the best thing you can do in this break now. Just try and calm the nerves, forget what's at stake. World Championship title. Just having a look at this one. Looking at who the agent is for uh, <laughs> Colombia. It's. Uh, Escano, <laughs> who broke her coach's wrist in the women's team competition. That is a joke, by the way. Uh, but I mean, he, she may have done, but <laughs> she certainly high fived him pretty hard a couple of times. India will be shooting first, we know that. Slightly more gentle high fives from Lopez and Munoz, the coach. He will be most grateful, I'm sure. See those flags moving around. Scores are official. We're back in action. We have had confirmation the of the score. scores. On our scoreboard it says 74 plays 77. Shooting first. 
Making a really quick shot there, getting it away, good thing to do in these conditions. very much now Nine. from India finishing with the 36 so there's a really big opportunity here Beautiful, perfect score there. 40 points out of a total of 40. We need to wait for the official scores to come in with uh, measured arrows on both sides of the shooting line. But a strong performance again for Colombia after trailing after the first end. Yeah, they've really got themselves together, haven't they? Um, seven tens, the last seven arrows. So Sarah's just, you know, adopted a really quick uh, shot process. She's getting in there, you know, and that's a really good thing to do when it is windy. You know, if you can keep your back tension, just keep on it. She looks like she is. Um, she's going really well for her. And she's, you know, talking her teammate Daniel through his shot as well. And, you know, it's working. Door opened as well a little bit from India. Yeah, just a few shots awry over that side of the field. So it's just just dropped a few too many points, really. We can see 117 on the scoreboard. Plays 111. So India trailing by six. As we go into the final end here, uh, it would be remarkable if India were to be able to turn this round in uh, four hours. Yeah, it would. It really would. You know, unless anything goes crazy. Yeah. Still yet to win a world title in archery in a sport that they absolutely love in the country. It's felt like it's been coming for the last few years. Nine. Not quite there yet for India. I think it's one of those, you know, it's just so elusive to them. But I think once they break that kind of seal as it was, you know, I think they'll just absolutely smash it. They're doing so well, aren't they, with the recurves as well. And, you know, they're, they're about Nine. to be there with it. Well... Room for manoeuvre. Lopez starting to relax. Don't relax too early. You've still got one more arrow to go, Sarah. Nine. Right over the other side. Each team with two arrows remaining. A five-point differential in favour of Colombia. Um, uh, From India. Finishing with the 10. The 32 year old is still young enough and talented enough to feature at the next World Championships in 2023. 
Virgil Venom is just shot. 25. With 150 on the board. Finish with 150, uh, 155 available to Colombia. Sara Lopez, a quick one out for nine. And that leaves Munoz just needing a seven here for the world title. Uh, it's on the line for a ten and. A 154 call for Colombia. They take the compound mixed team gold medal. Sara Lopez and Daniel Munoz from India's Jyoti Venom and Abhishek Verma. Congratulations to Colombia. Commiserations and yet another two year wait for a world title for India. But Colombia are the new world champions. Nikki, we, we, clearly we don't favour any teams, we remain completely neutral. Colombia shot the best, they deserve the world title, but you've got to feel for India. They've come very close a couple of times here at these world championships already. Yeah, they really are getting closer. Um, like I said, I think it's just a matter of once they've got one, the floodgates will open and uh, the amount of talent they've got coming through now is unbelievable. So we will see more of them, I am sure. Well, First of three days of live action from the 2021 Hyundai World Archery Championships are over. So still two more days for India and the rest of the countries to claim medals and world titles. We take a look back over that gold medal match between Colombia's Sara Lopez and Daniel Munoz and India's Jyoti Venom and Abhishek Verma. Venom and Verma got off to a flyer leading after the first end, but it was plain sailing for Colombia after that. 